example three in 2.1 for math 30-1 um, talks about Maylene designing some symmetrical pattern. Um, and basically what she wants us to do is she wants us to make, uh, again, a symmetrical pattern where that equation um, is symmetrical about the x-axis and y-axis. So right now what Maylene has is that in quadrant one, we have y equals the square root of x. What we need to do then is we need to reflect this into quadrant two, quadrant three eventually, and quadrant four. I think the easiest by far is to first reflect it across the y-axis. And really, really importantly, I'm gonna put this in here, is that if A is less than zero, we reflect across the x-axis. If B is less than zero, we reflect across the y-axis. So what I need to do to get this red shape is I need to apply a B parameter of negative one, and that gives me Y is equal to the square root of negative X. All right, to get that quadrant four, I'm gonna reflect it across the X axis, which means this blue shape is going to be when the A value is negative one, so that's Y equals a negative times the square root of X. And then last but not least for quadrant three, we have an option. Now, I'm going to draw it first, and we'll talk about the two different options that we have. So, again, ignore my bad drawing skills. It's roughly symmetrical. Um, to get that equation in quadrant three, what I could do is I could take the red equation and apply an A parameter of negative one. And that would give me Y equals negative, and I, I don't really need to put the negative one there, so we'll try that again. Y equals negative times the square root of negative X. So what I've done is I've taken my red function and reflected it across the X axis. But I could also take my blue function right here and reflect it across the y-axis. And if I were to do that, multiplying that blue function's x value by negative 1 would give me also y is equal to the negative square root of negative x. All right, so in order for Maylene to make this symmetrical pattern, she reflected it across the x-axis and the y-axis. So the four equations we're going to work with are y equals root x for quadrant 1, y equals the root of negative x for quadrant two, y equals the negative root of negative x for quadrant three, and y equals the negative root of x for quadrant four. Kind of an interesting question, just trying to reiterate how we reflect our functions using the A and B parameters.